Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have one of Forest River's newest floor plans. It's the 2023 Vibe 34 XL. I'm assuming the XL stands for the size because this thing has a walk-in closet, a big shotgun style bathroom, you know, with a washer and dryer closet, three slides, bedroom slide, dual opposing ones in the living room. This thing is absolutely huge. If you are looking for the specifications, things like length, weight, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, you will find that down in the description of this video. And as always, if you guys find some value in this, want to stick around you know, for some future RV content, I'd be very grateful if you took a moment to hit that like and subscribe button for me. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into it today. But again, it's the 2023 Vibe 34XL. And right when you walk in the camper, I think this thing has the wow factor. It is light, it is bright, but it's not too light and too bright. You still have kind of the darker tones of the furniture to really offset it. Lately, a lot of brands have been going one way or the other, too dark or too light. This is a really good mix. And you'll notice one of my favorite things about this floor plan is you get an absolute ton of space here in the middle to kind of hang out. If it's a rainy day, just kind of a crappy day out there at the campgrounds and you're not gonna head outside, doesn't get much better than this for functional use, especially with the um, you know TV being right across from the recliners. I figured we'll start uh, bloop, 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 bloop. we'll start right here. So even though this is traditionally a couples coach, you do get an additional couch right off here off the wall, which I love how it's not just kind of a blank space. It is very functional for it. So this is a pull-out sofa, so it makes a full-size bed. So whether you have you know grandkids or the occasional friend that's coming with you perfect place to hunker up for the night. It is pretty darn comfortable. You do get a window right here, which doubles up as an emergency exit as well. So pull, push and pop and you can get out. You're also going to see all the windows are coming, you know, with the nightshade. So you can get your Dracula on, block out all the sun or keep some nosy eyes out. But also above the sofa, you do get, you know, some storage, pretty good storage space right there. It goes all the way across, put some towels or blankets. You also have your control panel here right up front. Won't go too much into this, but everything for, you know, your fresh tank, batteries, gray tanks. So you can check all the levels, all your slide controls, you know, and your awning controls as well. So all in one place, making it really nice and convenient. Another thing you're going to notice throughout the vibe, and this is the brand as whole, is they will always have at least a slide with absolutely massive windows. And the nice thing about it, too, is they all open up, including the ones on the side which is kind of a rarity there in the RV industry. Usually the side ones are just for a good view or letting in some natural light. Again, they all come with the nightshades. They're all tinted as well. As far as slide height is concerned, I am six feet tall for reference. Pretty good slide height there for a travel trailer. You know, I would say you're probably sitting around the, around the five, six mark. This is gonna be your seating slide. So you have your theater seating right here, really comfortable recliners. They're also gonna be on the quick recline meaning they lay pretty darn flat. I've taken many naps and campers just like this using this Thomas Paine furniture and they are really nice and comfortable. So if you're not a sofa sleeper, you know you can definitely sleep in these things, absolutely no problem. Double tap right there to light up, get some accent lighting, get a nice ambient glow at night if you don't wanna wake some folks up. Four cup holders, the ones you double tap for the lighting and then you got two in the middle. Place for some controllers and they also snuck in two USB ports. You also have your four seater dinette, which is nice. Sit down, you know, play some cards, have some breakfast, you know, have a good time there. Start your day off in the right way. And what I like is when you come around the back side, you're gonna notice you got this little nook right here. So it has your refrigerator, a bunch of storage, but this is a really nice area for a desk. So they even have the little lift up right there. Maybe pop in, you know, your tablet, uh, laptop, or whatever you're doing, some stowaway items right in there, which is nice. You also get another window, you know, for a good view. And again, it is an emergency exit if you need it. USB and a universal C. So getting modern with the plug-ins. Two more outlets. And then more storage here right up above. Again, you got your Furion refrigerator. Beneath that, you have your fuse box. So if something's not working, you know to check right there. The nice thing about the Furion is if you're not familiar with them, uh, it's sort of more residential. It's going to be a 12 volt refrigerator, meaning it'll run off, you know, the solar, the battery, your truck when you're driving down the road, much more effective than the gas and electric refrigerators. You know, they're in kind of a, 
impervious to outside forces as far as like on the gas and electric, if the sun was beaten down on it, it would actually heat up. The frozen section would not actually, or the freezer section would not keep like ice cream frozen. It would be kind of like a buttery texture, which is you know pretty annoying when you're camping all day long. Nice small island. I love how they didn't go too large with this or too wide. It allows you to keep kind of all this walking space again, you know, for that rainy day. But you have just enough room to get around on either side so you're not feeling cramped, but not enough to where it hinders the rest of the floor plan. So you get a little bit of countertop space. Two more outlets right here. Really nice size stainless steel undermounted bowl with your high rise faucet hitting those dishes from all angles. Got those fancy looking little uh, little lights, whatever you want to call that, little chicken wire action. Nice little sunroof. But you got your seating slide over there, then you got your entertainment and your cooking slide right over here. Well, you know, I forgot to show you. That's what I get for taking a couple days off the old videos, getting a little rusty. But really good storage out the back. That is pretty darn impressive. But again, this is gonna be your cooking and entertainment slide. So not only do you get a lot of storage here, you get three pull-out drawers. The bottom two are going to be a little larger there than the top. But you also get that. New backsplash there for 2023. Looking sharp. Got kind of that like aluminum, you know, kind of, I'm not sure exactly what that is, a vinyl or what, but it looks really nice. Furion microwave. Furion oven uh, with the hood. So you can turn on the fan right there. Kind of suck the stink out if you're cooking up some bacon or something in the morning. Three stove top burner. And then right here, this is pretty darn cool. You get kind of like a little wine cooler, which I open up from this size. It's not meant for food, it says, but um, or long-term storage of food. But heck, I think for some wine or some brewskis, you know, that'd be pretty darn cool just to come in, crack a cold one straight out of that. You have another window right here that opens up, gets yourself a nice little cross breeze. Another set of outlets there on that island. And then right here, directly across from your theater seating, you do get your entertainment. So 50 inch LED TV or flat screen TV, whatever the heck you want to call it, uh, with the Connex soundbar built right into it. So you get some really nice sound quality coming out of that. You also have your 30 inch Furion electric fireplace. A couple different modes. You have your orange, your red, your blue, and your white. But that puts out 5,300 BTUs of heat. And for a camper this size, on a day like today, you know, where it's 40, 45 degrees, that'll really be all the heat that you need to maintain a really comfortable area, you know, out here for sure, before you're digging in to some of your propane. Also, to the left and to the right, you get a little bit more storage. So when I was walking into this camper for the first time today, uh, the, one of the things that I noticed was, you know, this back end, while this is really cool and pretty unique for a travel trailer being this size, what really separated for me was starting in the bathroom. I know a lot of people don't necessarily love the shotgun style, you know, uh, bathrooms. You're worried about getting trapped by the pooper if you're back here in the, in the bedroom and someone is using this. But that portion aside, you get really nice features in this one. You got the porcelain throne, but you actually have enough room to sit down, take care of business and do your thing, which is important. You know, I'm not a flat belly fella, so I have to worry about that kind of stuff. And that is a nice feature to have. You also have a really good size shower, but it's not so big that it hampers, you know, your ability for extra storage. Since they also went with the shotgun style, you get this absolutely massive closet, which I am in love with that feature. That right there is worth its weight in gold, not only for plenty of storage, but if you want more of a full-time application in this, you know, kind of just more than just your weekend warrior, it is prepped for the fully stackable washer and dryer. So you don't have to settle for a combo unit or nothing like most of the travel trailers in general. You can put a fully stackable washer and dryer. So that is freaking awesome. You're also gonna see you get a little bit more countertop space along with a little bit more storage. So underneath, you know, you get that right there, you know, for some access to your plumbing. But then you get all this extra space that's normally just wasted or non-existent. I mean, check that out. It's pretty freaking cool. You also got a mirror right there to check out the guy doing the video. There's my bowling arm. Crushed it the last two weeks. I think it was a 641 and a 675. So back in action. 
another window right there to get a good little breeze get out the steam or the stink whatever you're doing a couple outlets a couple more outlets a little bit of storage here oh you can get the idea but it's got the little travel bada bing bada boom but yeah pretty cool bathroom that's for sure and then the bedroom continues to just get better so it's an east to west on a slide so you get big windows bigger than most bigger than a lot of fifth wheel windows in general Again, they all open up for a good cross breeze. They all have the blackout shade, so you can block out the sun, and they're all tinted. Underneath, you get some really good storage right there for some of your stowaway items, and then more compartment storage, kind of like um, you know dresser style, I would say. Just like that. Probably put my boxers and my socks and all that good stuff right in there. You also have an absolutely massive ton of countertop space right above uh, these little dresser drawers, which is nice. And then the reason why you don't have dresser drawers there underneath is because the outside, there's going to be these two compartments, which I'll show you on that portion of the tour, uh, but really good exterior storage as well. So really nice functional use of that. Two more outlets, a place that's going to be backed so you can hang up a TV along with the appropriate you know, outlets and connections. It also is prepped for the King Wi-Fi, so you can call up like AT&T or Verizon, you know, whatever it is that your internet provider is and get some internet there on the road. I know a lot of people are working on the road, so that is a nice feature to have already kind of pre-built into it. Another emergency exit window. Two outlets, a USB and a universal C. Two outlets, universal C and USB and your solar charge controller to let you know that your solar panels are working. And then you have this absolutely massive walk-in closet. So how freaking nice is this? So you got some pull-out drawers on both sides, access to your, um, your maintenance there right behind here, but then get much better than that. So not only do you get the washer and dryer there in the bedroom, but you also have plenty of stuff for your personal belongings, you know, that normally is kind of eaten up by that washer and dryer. But I think that about does it here for the inside portion of this tour. Uh, now I'm going to head around the outside, kind of show you where things are. Hope you guys dig it. Hope you consider hitting that like and subscribe button for me. Let's take one more little quick look around here, and then let's get on with it. But if you guys are in the market for an RV, you know, I do sell them. Don't make these just for fun. And I think I'm pretty pleasant to work with, and I work for a dealership, RV Nation, out here in Ohio. Uh, we have some access to some genuinely good pricing, and I'd love the opportunity, you know, to earn your business. I'm selling more and more off these channels, which is pretty freaking exciting for this guy. I've got four kids at home, and... Every single one of them like to suck money out like it's their job. So I got to keep making more. Power stabilizing jacks going to be controlled, you know, right here with the extend and retract. Really nice and easy. This is that outside storage that I was referencing right underneath the dresser inside the bed. So that is pretty cool. They snuck that in. You also have a little on off switch right there. Two awnings, so one right here and one right there. Again, uh, the size of those will be down in the specifications, which is in the, oh, sorry. Again, the specifications, things like the awning, will be found down in the description of the video. Sorry, I took that five-day break, fumbling and bumbling on my way through. Weather-resistant door up to 25 miles per hour. Solid entry steps that flip up into the entry along with your extra-large grab handle. An outside TV, so that's just flat-out snazzy. And those little blue things right there, it's going to be your outside speakers. If you want to put an additional TV out here, you do have your cable outlet, you know, and your plug-in right there. Dual axle. It's going to be the other control right here for the power stabilizers. And this is going to be the back end of your hot water heater. On the back, you do have a bumper with a spare tire along with your cable inlet and your satellite inlet. The vibes are also going to come prepped uh, for the Lippert on-the-go ladder, the telescoping ladder. It runs you, I think, 295 bucks. You buy it straight off of Lippert. It's really nice when most of these campers are no longer coming with ladders. It's nice to have the ability to do that for a fully walkable roof. Check your slides, make sure all your seals are looking good. You know, do your yearly maintenance. They are also coming prepped for a Furion observation camera. Those run you 550 smackaroonies. You get it installed, you suction cup a screen right onto your windshield so you can see what's going on behind you while driving the road down the road, you know, with distance markers. 
you are eligible to put slide toppers on both slides here on this size if side if you're not familiar with what a slide topper is a slide topper is basically an awning that goes from here to here and it protects the top of the slide from debris like tree branches rain pine needles anything that can get into those seals you know and pop it where people have leaks it typically comes from them crunching something when they're putting the slide back in and don't realize that there's a tree branch on there so either you need to get up there and check it each time or you kind of pay to play and get yourself out of it it's going to be one of your connections there for your uh, uh, for your water or your dump valve this is going to be your sewer connection right here your black tank flush, if you're not familiar with the black tank flush, that's going to be a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Your outside shower with hot and cold water access. And then your city water connection. Let me open this up. So this is going to be underneath the bed. Some good storage right there. A little dark. Your fresh water connection. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope to see you around next time. My name is Hunter, and this was the 2023 Vibe 34XL. Have a great night. See ya.